I know y'all remember these butterfly nails. Well, today I'm gonna be doing some butterfly nails, but I wanna do them Halloween style. Let's see how this turns out. This is the intro to Long Hair Pretty Nail Show, yeah. So I did the butterfly nails last year. It was a recreation from Carla Did It and these went super crazy. Like people were like, oh my God, how do you wipe your butt? <laughs> <laughs> but I think they were so cool and I love the colors. I loved how everything came out. So I definitely want to do a Halloween version. And I got some ideas for this one. So let's get to it. So these nails are gonna be press ons because they are super crazy. They're gonna be big. So I got my Apray stiletto tips on these little stands. And I really wish I would have made last year's into press ons because I had to cut them off, but I did keep the pieces. <laughs> So I learned my lesson and I'm definitely going to be doing press-ons this year. <laughs> so we're just gonna do a little bit of prepping to these nails. I just need the buff to shine off so the gel polish can stick. So that's all I'm doing. Tips are all buffed and I'm gonna go in with some base coat. I always used to skip this step because I'm like, it don't really matter. <laughs> <laughs> but when I start doing it and it actually makes a big difference on how smooth the gel polish lays. So I just take the extra minute <laughs> to put the base coat on and not too thick. We still want to keep these really thin. We don't want to add any extra bulk. Base is on and y'all know my favorite black gel polish. I'm just going to go in with two coats of this. Okay, yeah, I think I may just do two thin coats. I want these to not lose its shape at all. All right, black is complete. So now we get to get to the fun part. I am going to be doing the butterfly like we did before. So I went ahead and printed this off. This is a Papilio Machion. <laughs> I know I just butchered that, but this is the shape that I want to do. So, uh, try to wipe the dust off of this. <laughs> I have my little plastic sheet here and we are going to do some tracing. Okay, so I need to make sure that I have enough room. Just lining up my sheet, my little plastic sheet, and then taking a Sharpie. <laughs> We're gonna go back to school and do some tracing. It has to be, I need to be able to see what I'm doing. Let's see. You know, just the basic shape. And we're just gonna trace. I'm exaggerating it a bit because I need, you know, room to mode but we just gonna take it back to preschool okay that looks like that may have been making the line just heavy so once i take this off i can have something to really guide me through this all right so i'm pretty much I pretty much just want the wing. I don't really care about the little center. But as y'all can see, this butterfly is gonna be just as huge as the last one. And follow along. No, <laughs> you don't wanna move it when you're drawing or tracing. Okay, I think that's it. Oh yeah, I can work with that. So this is my template for the butterfly and I'm gonna mold it with clear patty gel and brush. We are just going to carefully, <laughs> just gonna mold this. I'm sure I'm gonna need a lot, but we'll just add as we go. Okay, so we're just gonna form this into the butterfly shape. 
Making sure to not make it too thin because I have some ideas and it can't be too thin or it's going to crack. And we just want to get as close to the shape as possible. So really take your time around the points. It's all about the details. Oh, look at this gaping air bubble. <laughs> Let's try to get that out. But I am to the tricky part now. It's trying to get the details. What I think I might end up doing is just um, putting this first layer down and then going back in with another layer. You don't have to do it all in one go. But yeah, I just want the detail, the little points of the butterfly wings. <laughs> really want to get that detail going. But yeah, I just wanted to do a quick check in. This is probably going to take me a little minute. So I think I have this how I want it. Like I said, I may have to do some touch-ups, but that's all right. But I think this is going to turn out so cute. All right. So this is what it's looking like so far. Oh, let me try to like extra clean up to extra, extra clean up the outside. So it, when it cures, it doesn't try to pull it up. I don't know. <laughs> At any rate, I'm just going to go ahead and cure this. So this one is nice and cured. Looking good. And now I'm working on the other wing. I'm getting that air bubble out. <laughs> Hopefully that works. But yeah, I'm so happy at how good this is working. <laughs> I mean, I didn't have any doubt. Just a little bit. But yeah, this is working out. I don't want it to be too thick, but you know, it still has to have a little bit of structure. So we're just gonna continue working on this all right so we are all cured it is a little sticky so we're gonna go ahead and wipe this with some alcohol okay and we're just gonna peel this right up oh the back side don't have to do anything oh okay <laughs> That's why I traced it on this side and did the patty gel on the opposite side because the Sharpie does kind of run. Ew. <laughs> Let me see if I can get this off my fingers. Okay. All right, it wipes off. Ooh. So here are our pieces. Oh, that looks amazing. Okay, so I was trying to see, okay. They're thin, but they're not like, you know, flimsy. This is what I wanted. All right, so I'm gonna take this buffer and I'm gonna first buff the surface. I just want to smooth everything out so the polish won't look lumpy when I put it on. I'm gonna go with my 180 side because this is just a little lumpy for my liking. And of course, I'm trying to be careful because I don't want to break this. Okay. All right, so next I'm gonna take my e-file and we're just gonna clean up these areas. Just making sure everything is crisp okay especially these areas all 
All right, done filing. I think I like the shape of these. Ooh, and y'all see that patty gel clear is, <laughs> is clearing. All right, I think I like the shape of these. So yeah, as y'all saw with shaping, I just went in and defined all the little, oh, what do you call these? <laughs> the little spikes on the wings. Okay, so I do wanna paint these. So I'm gonna put some base coat on these. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Let's see if this will even hold it. I just wanted to gently hold it. Okay. <laughs> I use um, Scotch double-sided tape. I got it out of Marcus um, hardware cabinet. <laughs> but yeah, he uses this for like, I don't know, lights and stuff. And But anyway, it works good for holding on my stands. All right, so base coat and we're just gonna evenly paint this all right base is on and oh my goodness i am loving the clear should i do a clear butterfly <laughs> that is looking like glass okay one time for the clear patty gel all right so next we're gonna go in with the black and I'm gonna move this stain out the way. And I'm just gonna do two thin coats of this. I do not want this to wrinkle. <laughs> so we're just gonna paint nice thin layers. I know these crazy nails really be drifting into like resin art. <laughs> and I'm here for it. Just nice and smooth. Ooh, that's gonna be a spooky butterfly. I also wanna do thin coats as well because I don't want to lose my definition and shapes on the, on the little spikes here. So I want to keep those the shape. And you know, if you apply gel polish too thick, you can definitely lose the shape. Butterfly wings are all painted. I'm thinking I may go in with a matte top coat. I think I want this look matte because, ooh, wait till y'all see what I got. <laughs> um, so yeah, let me, I'm just gonna go and paint everything matte with this. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think they look a little more Halloween-y when they're matte. As y'all can see, the strokes from the matte top coat are still kind of in there, but I think it kind of gives it, you can barely see what I'm talking about. I wonder if this will help. Okay, y'all can kind of see them lines. But yeah, it kind of looks like organically a butterfly wing, I guess. <laughs> oh yeah, I want to do some drips. And I'm gonna use Nails by Dev Afterlife. If you guys checked out my live or the cut down, y'all saw that I swatched all of these and this one is just so beautiful. Oh, look at that, perfect. I'm gonna just put a little bit of this on the palette. So of course I want these nails to glow. So we're gonna put some of this glow powder. That is what sets these Halloween nails off, I think. That might be too much, but I'll just add some more gel polish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's add a little more polish. <laughs> you can hear all the green. All right, and now we're just going to add our drips. And take our brush and lightly build, bring it up. I like to keep the line really thin. It gives the illusion of like a, a fat droplet. <laughs> like so. And then I need to bring this one up just a little bit. Thicken you up some. And just fill 
and just curve these lines like that and just fill this in so I'm also going to put some drips on the butterfly wings so we're going to start I think right here I don't want to take it down too far because it's going to get in the way of the other stuff that I'm going to put on here so we're just going to do a light drips so we're just gonna do something like this you know to make it spooky looking and just fill this top part in all right looking drippy and then i'm gonna Mm, it's just gonna be at the bottom here. I'm gonna just start right here and then we'll decide. Okay, and I'm just gonna fill all of this in. Ooh, that looks good. All right, so I'm gonna do this for both of the wings and we're gonna do two coats of this. Uh, I've already done, I get it. <laughs> so I've done the drips on the nails and this is how it's looking. This is after two coats and they glow so well. So yeah, I'm just gonna continue doing this and drippy drippy. <laughs> Here are the painted wings. Oh. I just love the drippy effect. <laughs> okay, so now for the special thing that I was telling you about. So my girl Dash Nails, she posted this video of the UFO and like the alien from Mexico or whatever that they found. But she had a UFO and she had this LED light in it. And so I was like, girl, I need the details on this LED light, <laughs> please. <laughs> So she was kind enough to let your girl know we were talking in the DM and she told me about these LED earrings that they have. And so I had to go get some. But as you can see, it's a regular earring and it has this little battery back. And when you push down on it, oh, okay, this one ain't working no more. <laughs> okay, when you push down, Okay, no, <laughs> all right, that one. The reviews did say that some of them work and some of them don't, so anyway. So when you push down on it, it's supposed to light up. Isn't that so cool? <laughs> all right, so my plan is to put some of these inside of the wings, it's gonna be so cute. Okay, so first I need to figure out which ones I'm gonna use and which ones actually work. So that one works. Let me see if I can just turn the lights off so y'all can see. Oh yeah. That is gonna be amazing. So I do want to say that I bought two different sets of earrings and just because something is cheaper or you think it's the same, it's not. <laughs> because these, I thought um, I was gonna get a better deal because these come with 18. I forgot how much I mean, how many the other set came with. But these came with so many, but they, they're they not as bright. And you, and you really gotta like press it down. <laughs> so yeah, um, don't get these. All the earrings aren't the same. <laughs> so these are the ones that I got. Um, it comes with five pairs. Okay, the other one came with 10 pairs. So I'll be sure to put the link to these because these actually work. All right, so my plan, like I said, is to put these in here somehow. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do six on each wing. We want this to be like really in your face. Okay, so I need to drill some holes. I'm gonna be using this little skinny drill bit here. Y'all seen me do this before. I'm more confident now in drilling into my work because it's not gonna break, hopefully. All right, so I got this little 
um, pen here, I just need to uh, sketch out where exactly I'm going to be filing. Uh, what did I say? Mm. Okay, so we're gonna put one right here, right here, and right here. Oh, that's perfect. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Kind of deciding where I want them to be. All right, nail drill on. I realize you gotta turn it up when you're trying to drill through. Okay, so here we go. know why I be getting so nervous. <sighs> okay, we almost through. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> All right, we made it. Okay, so I'm just gonna do that five, 11 more times. <laughs> Okay, so before I move on, I just wanna make sure that it does fit in there. And it does. And it lights up. Oh, that's gonna be dope. I'm probably gonna have to glue this on so it doesn't move because it's a little wobbly right now. But, ooh, okay, let me finish. Okay, so I got the holes drilled and I'm just wiping off the dust. Ooh. <laughs> I'm so excited about this set. Okay, so I need to put some top coat on all the green. I forgot to do that. So let me go ahead and do that. I want to give it a little, a little texture. So we're going to use this just a tad bit thicker. I don't know. We'll see. We'll make it work. Okay. So I'm just going to add the bling gel. This dries without a tacky layer. So that is perfect just to seal all of this in. I still want to keep the black part matte. So I'm being very careful to not touch that. All right, so we got everything top coated. Ooh. Let's see how I'm gonna do these earrings in here. So we're gonna put, let's see what the best way to do it. Yeah, I think I might just have to glue these on. So I don't wanna, I wanna keep them flat with the wing. So we're just gonna put a little bit around here. Just a little bit. And sit that down like that. And cure. Okay. I like that. And then we can just put the back on. And she lights. <laughs> cool. All right. I'm going to do this for all of them. Okay, so I have all of the light up earrings installed. <laughs> okay, so now we gotta figure out how I'm gonna put these on. Uh, I mean, I know how I'm gonna put them on. We just gonna glue them on like that. Ooh, that is pretty. So let me just take this off the stand. Gotta love that double-sided tape. We're gonna use the end of this stand to help your girl out. So this one here is my index fingernail and I think I'm gonna do something like this. And we're just gonna put some blanket gel right here. Because I did this with a uh, patty gel, it's lighter than the other butterfly wings were. So hopefully the gel can just let it stay. Okay, so put it on like so. And then, let me move everything out the way so I'm ready to go to the lamp. 
I might have to flash cure this. Where are you? Okay. Let me get everything ready. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna put you like that. And we flash cure. It's still kind of moving a little bit. Oh, mm, it's a little heavy. All right, we need the big boy. Oh, make sure you cover up your gel. All right, this one is a little stronger, so hopefully it can hold it in place until I can get it into the big lamp. And, oh, hold still. All right, so I also want to turn it over so this underside can cure as well. Okay, let's put that in the big lamp. All right, so are y'all ready to see? Because they, ah, I'm so excited. So this is the finished look. OMG, y'all. <laughs> is this giving spooky butterfly? <laughs> So yes, I have, oh, these are so heavy, y'all. Look at all these batteries on the back. <laughs> oh man, these are crazy, but I like them. So as y'all can see, the drips, <laughs> I just can't get, look at all of these batteries. <laughs> Let's see, some of them, like, you gotta kinda wiggle them a little bit to make sure the it's sticking to the back. Okay, I think we got all of them. <laughs> yeah, these are crazy. And we can't forget about the glow. I'm sorry, I'm in my I'm in my bathroom. <laughs> Ooh. Now this is a vibe. Cute. Alright, let's see what Marcus thinks. Uh-oh. Hey you, what you working on? Hey. I'm thinking about moving the microphone and stuff around. Oh, well. All these wires. You ready for me? Pause that for a second. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Okay. I need you to get ready. Oh, you're cute. Oh, thank you. I really have to pay his master <laughs> shirt. <laughs> you know. <laughs> okay. Okay. You ready? I guess so. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, it's tons, it's tons of batteries <laughs> under there. <laughs> they, oh my God. <laughs> they heavy. Oh, that's crazy. Whoa. See, this, this is how those other light up ones we were hoping. <laughs> these are, are these earrings? Yes, they're earrings. <laughs> <laughs> that's clever. Wow, I'd have never thought of that. You Ooh, like? Little spooky butterfly. You know. Oh, that's fire. Yeah, I like that. I, I really like the back. Say that again. I said I like it, but the back <laughs> is ridiculous. We ain't talking about that. <laughs> yeah, that's fire. Yay. See, I told you I had some plan. Right, you did. That's so bright. They really, they, they really hidden. Except for that one. That one's off. I know. Like, if you don't push the batteries in good enough. Oh, I can see. Yeah. It. Like, dang, it's like you don't even want to go. Right? You can't, like, you can't push it all the way up. I know they uh, wash my. That's my nail, man. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to help out, but it ain't going. It's it's o it's okay. Yeah, like the slightest little bit, there it go. As soon as I let it go, it's done. See, <laughs> only only you will point all that out, okay? Just you know, I I, I be seeing detail. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's fine. Um, and you know, I got something else. Cause you believe there's more. No. Follow me to the bathroom that we never use. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, let's go. I forgot that this this room is dark. <laughs> you already had it prepared. I see your lamp. I got I got my lamp here. We going we gonna power up. We all never use this bathroom. <laughs> this for the kids, not us. It's too far away. <laughs> Hit the lights. Oh, look at that. That's wild. <laughs> oh, you good going off with the glow. You know, I love glow. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. You see them drip? You dripping? Yeah, that's that's hard. I like that. 
Thank you. Why are you about to go to a rave? I am. Dang, yeah. Okay, you outdid yourself with a little extra glow. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you like it. Uh-huh. That's real nice. Now you know we're in the dark again. <laughs> so come here. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm definitely putting these on for Halloween as I pass out the candy. The kids are gonna love this. <laughs> so would you wear some glow butterfly Halloween nails? If y'all enjoy seeing crazy nail designs, check out these videos right here and I will talk to you in the next one. Peace. <laughs> this is the outro to the long hair pretty nail show, yeah.